When Burger King tried to end an exclusive territory agreement with a franchisee, the franchisee resisted, arguing that the resulting forfeiture would be a whopper. In Burger King v. Family Dining, the court had to decide whether Burger King could have it their way and terminate the agreement. In 1963, Burger King entered a territorial agreement with Family Dining, a Pennsylvania company operated by a friend of Burger King founder James McLemore. The agreement gave Family Dining exclusive rights to operate Burger King restaurants in two Pennsylvania counties for a 90-year period, as long as Family Dining opened one restaurant annually for 10 years and operated the restaurants as Burger King required. The agreement stipulated termination if there were ever fewer than the required number of restaurants in operation or under construction within the exclusive territory. Family Dining opened its first three restaurants in accordance with the agreement, then fell behind schedule. Burger King waived this noncompliance with the development rate and granted extensions for the next three restaurants. By October of 1970, Family Dining was operating eight restaurants and had received approval for two more, but its relationship with Burger King had deteriorated. In April of 1972, Family Dining realized that the ninth restaurant was behind schedule and requested another extension. McLemore told Family Dining that Burger King still considered the company to be in substantial compliance with the territorial agreement because it was in the process of developing more restaurant sites. However, when the ninth restaurant still wasn't under active construction by May of 1973, Burger King sent Family Dining a letter indicating Family Dining's noncompliance with the agreement. By November of 1973, Burger King considered the agreement terminated. In May of 1975, Burger King sought a declaratory judgment in the Eastern District of Pennsylvania Federal Court that the territorial agreement was no longer in effect. After Burger King presented its case at a bench trial, Family Dining moved for dismissal arguing, among other things, that strictly enforcing the agreement's termination provision would result in a forfeiture to family dining. 